I want this one, I want that one. I want this one, I want that one. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Fung Bros Food. Today we're in New York City, but we're taking it back to Hong Kong. Uh, oh, you've seen the videos? Yeah. All right, very cool. Yeah, you Thank wanna you. take a selfie or something? That's cool. Like that? Thank you. Thank you. So HK is known for having a lot of different genres of food, but today we're focusing on one in particular, the Hong Kong Cafe. And in Cantonese, it's called the Hong Kong Cha Cha Tang. This is one of our favorite style of restaurants to eat at, so without further ado, let's, let's go. go. We are at XO Kitchen, XO, XO. And Cha Chan Cheng's, it's kind of unlike any other Chinese restaurant out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The menus at Hong Kong cafes are absurdly large. Yes. When you fold it out, you know it's one fold, two fold, three fold, four fold. You're just like, and then there's front and back, and you're just like, what? is that a new dance? Hold up. <laughs> oh, do the cha, cha, tang. Do the cha, cha, tang. Do the, bro, these are all different items that taste different. <laughs> We have a crazy spread in front of us right now from traditional wow. dishes to modern dishes. I would say that it's definitely like a weird fusion between Chinese and Western tastes. Yeah. You know? And But we all grew up going to some. You know, I grew up eating this every other day pretty much. If every time I go out, <laughs> whether it's with my friends or family, you know, always gotta hit up the Tatan -ta things. We gotta clarify, Nelson grew up in the 626, which allows you to do that. Yep. Now, let me tell you about a place. So Nelson was staying with us in New York for a few months now. You're the most canto out of us three. So Nelson's no. canto is way better than yeah. <laughs> Not the best, but uh, good enough to get around. Oh, this is the lie chop. Yo, can we eat though? I got sick five. The thing, the interesting Yo. thing about EXO, they have dim sum. So here we have hakao, which is shrimp balls. Okay. We have siu mai. There's no way to explain a siu mai. Mm. Uh, then you have pai kwa, which is uh, spare ribs. pork spare ribs, right, yep. with black bean sauce. Yep. This churn fun right here, which is a rice roll, mm -hmm. has the EXO sauce on it. And you yep. guys, explain to the people, what is EXO sauce? EXO, which means extra special within the Hennessy realm. So they wanted to make an EXO sauce, like a fancy sauce. The reason why EXO sauce is kind of expensive is because it has a whole lot of different dried ingredients in it. Yep. It has like dried scallops, which are kind of expensive. It right. has like shrimp, it has garlic, it has all these other things. And this is what EXO Kitchen is named after. Yes. Mm. Mm. It feels like it's just melting your mouth. But that, that kick that EXO sauce gives you is just like... <laughs> In a good way though, but man. Exo also means what, hugs and kisses? But yeah. the O being the hug and the X is the kiss. Uh, in a simpler way, it just means like love, I guess. Next item is this Japanese dumpling. Now this is not served at every Hong Kong cafe, but this spot, Exo Kitchen is known for their Japanese dumpling. Is there some like wasabi taste into this? It doesn't really taste like this, I don't know exactly what's Japanese about it, except I think there is some wasabi. But it's juicy though, I mean, just look at the size of this thing, man. It's like a golf ball, you know, <laughs> inside. Ooh, David, explain you know, this dish. This is like one of your favorites. I feel like this is a great way to explain what a cha cha tang is. You put a big pork chop on top of it, yeah. then you put mad cheese. Yes. Oh my God, that's my favorite part. Pizza pie. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a Japanese salt bake style. Still good. Yo, it's actually different. It has like a sweet soy sauce flavor. I prefer the regular salt and pepper chicken wings yeah. to the Japanese salt baked ones, but those are still pretty good. Yes, the salt and pepper ones are heat. Not only that, we have the EXO Zongzi. Canto is called the Zong, so what Mandarin is called the Zongzi. David, how is it different than like the dim sum dish, the sticky rice ball called the Lo Mai Gai? This is pretty different, man. I would say it's quite a villagey dish. It's yeah. definitely more from the countryside. But that's what I like about it. Lamb chops with garlic sauce. You will not find a cheaper place to buy lamb chops and steak in America than a Hong Kong cafe. Not a doubt. Mm. Not every Hong Kong cafe is going to have lamb. This is yeah. a, little, a little fancier. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the 
the last two dishes that we had here at XO Kitchen. And black pepper grilled chicken steak over spaghetti with an egg. Yeah. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty heavy, man. I do some curls with this. <laughs> I'm imagining all those times when we just played basketball for like two or three hours and then we came to a cha cha tang and eating that would be even better. Favorite memory at a cha cha tang? I would say my favorite memory at a cha cha tang is just sometimes, depending on which ones you go to, they have NBA games on. Mm -hmm. And then watching like game winners at a cha cha tang is pretty fun. Every time after I poop, I would go there and drink like four or five cups of lemon iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, the same night, I would never be able to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of caffeine and sugar. In yeah. That. And, and you know, one thing that is noteworthy is that everything we're eating right now is actually super cheap. Yeah, dude, $10 for any of these dishes, man, that's super cheap. Nelson was staying with us in New York for a few months now, and it's been so much fun. Dessert 2016, New York City is crazy. Paul well, is not can't. life anymore. <laughs> but My name's Nelson Chan. I'm a first generation born in Macau. I think the Hong Kong Cafe, there is no better place to run through Nelly Nell's greatest hits. Another funny moment is in New York, you had a Cantonese rap. Oh man. For me, we gotta go back to LA already. Because I think one of my Instagrams that has the most likes still to this day is Nelson throwing a lob to himself and dunking at LA Fitness. Ah. That's like my top three most like Instagram of all time. Drop such an clip. honor, such Drop an honor. Drop that clip right now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, Nelson, explain the dunking situation with me real quick. Why do we call you the short Asian dunker? Uh, okay, so how I got my nickname the short Asian dunker from these guys. One, I'm 5'7", two, I'm Asian, and three, I can throw it down sometimes. <laughs> short Asians can dunk. I'm about five six. This is NBA Signature Moves Part Three. You kind of sound like Charles Barkley a little bit sometimes, <laughs> Sir Charles. It's terrible, Kenny. Terrible. Uh, I'm about terrible. five six. I'm about five six. I'm about five six. Oh man. <laughs> you know what? Once a dunker, always a dunker. What a journey, man. We moved to LA. We met Nelson. We went to New York. Richie went back to Seattle. You came with us to New York for a bit. Now you're going back to LA. Coast to coast, baby. We run this country, bro. <laughs> Nelson, you're looking for help as you move your Hoopin' Life YouTube channel back to Los Angeles to the 626 area. Why don't you let them know what you're looking for? So my channel, Hoopin' Life, is a channel that has a lot of basketball influence stuff. Anything related into basketball, you know, goes into my channel. I'm looking for, you know, DPs, editors, anyone in general who uh, is looking to help grow a YouTube channel. You're looking for people in Los Angeles who want to get down with the Hoopin' Life YouTube movement. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Rose Food slash Nelson's Greatest Hits. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. Thank you guys for watching that video of another episode of Fun Bros Food. These past couple months here in New York has been hella tight. You know, I really got to shout out to, you know, Andrew and David for, you know, really appreciative, really grateful to have them as homies and stuff. So, don't cry. It's, it's not too sad, man. <laughs> Make sure to check out my Hoopin' Life channel. I got a lot of basketball content coming up. So yeah, especially yeah. if you're Asian, definitely check shout out, out Hoopin' Life. Asians, man. Hoopin' Life, if I had to guess, will become a very, very big thing in the future. All right, until next time, we in New York. Peace. Peace.